The Real Housewives of Potomac are getting down to business this season, but that doesn't come without the drama. Robin Dixon and Giselle Bryant try a new endeavor with their podcast that covers things both reasonable and shady. Take a look. Okay, yes. is my mic on? Can you hear me? Can y'all hear me? I can't hear myself. No? Oh my gosh. This cannot be the way that this show is about to go. Like, please. Hello? Mic check? She's taking notes of what not to do. Stop. I'm fine. I'll just take this for right now. What's up? What's up? Welcome to Reasonably Shady Love Show. And Robin and Giselle are with me now. Hi, ladies. Hi. Listen, so, uh, okay, uh, after that clip, we need to know, you know, was it reasonable or shady that Karen was making notes about yeah. what not to do right. for her... It own was show. So shady. But so shady, she right? She does need help because she puts on a show <laughs> and she needs help. So kind of reasonable, but shady. But, but it's yeah. funny because she almost did, like the stuff that she said what not to do, she almost did it at her own show. Yes. Like see. instead maybe would have been yeah. cooler if she was like, oh, I'm going to, this is my to-do list. Right. Like what you guys did that was right, yes. that, then, that, would that would maybe have been the way to do friend, it. Right? You know that's I mean? a nice person. We'll see, her, <laughs> yeah. we'll see what she did on the show in a couple weeks. So yeah. prepare that's, yourself. That's the hard thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like watching things back too. And you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, well, everyone's going to be making up uh, this past uh, a week on different fronts, including you and Candace yeah. uh, making up. You're going to have a small intimate uh, ceremony with Juan, a wedding ceremony. Uh, what do we have to expect for the rest of the season? So, um, not everyone is excited about the fact that I want to have a small... Because they want intimate. you to have a big event. Yeah, yeah. So, so you'll see us kind of like go through the process of breaking that news to the people in our family and friends and um, ultimately see what we decide. Yeah. 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 I was ready to be a bridesmaid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So e even though it's her wedding, you want to tell her what to do. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Just, just yeah. so we're clear. Yes. <laughs> but wait, the two of you have been friends for a long time yeah. before the show even, right? So yeah. how has this, Giselle, you tell me, how yeah. this friendship, how the show has changed the friendship? I think it's helped us become better friends. Yeah, because yes. you're in it together, yeah. right? We're in it together. We only understand what we go through. Right. The show can kind of be crazy sometimes. Right. And it's good to have like somebody that's like got your back. Yeah. So I, I'm happy about it. Yeah. yeah. And then even working together on Reasonably Shady, yeah. that, you know, that's a different venture, being yeah. friends and working in business together. But it actually works really well. Yes. Yeah. So. It's, you probably know that pretty quickly if it's going to click or if it's going to yeah. ruin the For friendship. Sure. For sure. Yeah. Yes. But um, so Giselle, you're going to be on season three, right, of the uh, yes. Ultimate Girls Trip. Yes. And Candace kind of described it as um, a 10-day anxiety training, uh -huh. which I feel like is probably pretty accurate. <laughs> No, not, absolutely not. How, like, I was gonna say, how do you describe it? Well, I mean, if, if, if you have like lies to hide, you have a whole lot of anxiety, Candace. Yeah. But for me, like I had a ball. I was there with Portia and the Salt Lake girls. We had a really good time. The Miami girls are so much fun. Yeah. We had a really good we time. We just had Drama. them here yesterday or the day before the yeah. Miami girls. Yeah. Drama, of course, but a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the podcast. You brought it up, Robin. Yeah. And um, I mean, it's nominated for an NAACP Image Award. You've had yeah. millions of downloads yeah you know you guys have now brought this to live crowds like we saw in that clip how much fun is it to bring yeah. it to a live audience oh and kind of like feed off that energy yes yeah. that's what we really wanted yeah. yeah yeah it's our listeners are so amazing you know they're always like messaging us or emailing us and we just wanted to be in the building and in the room with us the, with them and to hug them and talk to them and say oh yeah. you're Asia you're so much you know there's people like we know their names and so yeah. it's so awesome to just feel their energy and be able yeah. to actually like look them in their eye I love it yeah, yeah. we we are able to to sit with them and they can quote things that happen on like episode 40, <laughs> episode 50. It's, and it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of make you feel good because you know that people are actually listening and paying yeah. attention and then, right. then you're like, okay, we're doing this yeah. for a good yeah. reason. Yeah, we're, it's yeah. working. Whatever we're doing is working. Yeah. Whatever you're doing yeah. is working, ladies. Yeah. And you can catch The Real Housewives of Potomac Sundays at 8 p.m. on Bravo and listen to Reasonably Shady wherever you get your podcasts.